We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Musselman football, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team, a hard-fought battle on the road again, falls to Loudoun Valley by a final score of 35 to 21. Just tell us a little bit about uh, your overall thoughts on that game for your Appleman. Yeah, I mean you're never you're never pleased with a loss. Um, you know that's not what you, that's not what you set out to do, but. Um, you know, when you break down the film and watch the film after the game, I was super pleased with, um, you know, I, I knew I was pleased with the effort. I knew that on the field. But then when I watched our execution on some stuff, uh, we, we did we did a pretty good job. We did a lot better than I thought um, we had uh, during the game when I went back and watched it on film. So, you know, I, I was super pleased with our kids, um, super pleased with what they're giving us. Um, you know, just, you know, obviously you don't want to fall short. Uh, in the win loss column, but you know we made we made huge strides from week one to week two. Coach, your team was in the lead at halftime, fourteen to thirteen. What do you think kind of went wrong in the uh, second half? Well, we, I mean, honestly, when you play games like this, a lot of times you, they're they're whether you're on the winning side or you're the losing side. When you're in a tight game, it usually comes down to about uh, three, four, five plays, and and you know there were. There were about five plays in the ball game that, if you look at, you're like, man, um, we really, if we could change that, things would be a lot different. Uh, we had a false start penalty on what was going to be a touchdown in the first half. So, you know, you, you don't see that in the box score that we we were we were seconds away from being up 21 to seven going into half, and that that was you know that was big. Um, that then we then we gave the ball back to them and they scored. And then the second half, we just we didn't play well. Second half. Um, you know, they, they, they outplayed us a little bit. We made some mistakes. We made some errors. Um, you know, just some of it's just football teaching points. You know, when you're, um, you know, we're not a very experienced team on Friday night. So some of the mistakes that we made were just, um, you know, a little bit inexperienced mistakes where you got to teach situations um, and teach that stuff. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to do that and we'll continue to grow. What were some of the things, I guess, in particular that you really saw your team grow in from uh, the first week into last week's game? Um, a lot of execution, you know, just a lot of a lot of little stuff. You know, offensively, uh, we had a good offensive game week one against Hanley, but you know, more so this past week where we're we're understanding things that we're trying to get done. We're understanding what we're trying to do um, defensively. We made uh, leaps and bounds. We got better um, from week one, so. Um, you know, re- really just kind of pleased with execution. A lot of the, you know, the, our kids are, our kids are doing what, what is being asked of them. Uh, they're doing what we're teaching them. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're getting better at some of that little stuff. Coach, your team uh, got a spark from its kick return game as well. Had a kick return touchdown. Um, just, I guess, as your team continues to grow and, and you see stuff like that come through and you talk about execution, uh, you know, obviously it's good to see execution in all three phases of the game. So uh, how, how important do you think that could be for your team to have some special teams plays really turn the tide of some games, especially as your offense continues to grow and develop and, and uh, try to find you know, ways to put up yeah. more points? Yeah, we've always, you know, ever, I've, I've always, that's always been one of my mentalities is I don't want, you know, I've, I've, I've been a part of teams where special teams is kind of an afterthought and, and I don't, you know, I don't want our program to be like that. You know, luckily over the years, uh, we've been pretty good at special teams throughout the year. So, you know, we, we put a lot of emphasis on special teams. We work on special teams every single day. Um, you know, and I, I really think a lot of times there's hidden plays that can be found on special teams that, you know, somebody, somebody, might be, um, I don't want to say taking a playoff, but, you know, it might not be as important where we try to put the emphasis on, hey, let's see if we can, you know, maybe maybe swing the game here or, or, or get a play here or set us up in better position. So, um, you know, yeah, special teams are, are a huge emphasis on what we do. Coach, I think final question for you about last week's game. Uh, the allowance of, I guess, a lot of big plays on the defensive end and just how you guys kind of try to get that under wraps in the uh, upcoming weeks. Yeah, we, I mean, against Hanley, we gave up a boatload. And Hanley's a really, I mean, 
Don't get me wrong, you know, I don't mean to get on a tangent here, but we've played two really good Virginia schools. You know, we played – I don't think Hanley's going to lose a game. Um, I looked at their schedule. I, I think Hanley's going to go undefeated. You know, Loudoun Valley last year won seven games. They're one of the better teams in Loudoun County. So, you know, we just played two really good Virginia teams that – you know, I, I think it's easy sometimes to say, oh, this team's 2-0 and or that team's 0-2 and and then not look at, you know, the, the, our, our, if our schedule's a little bit different, I mean, shoot, man, we, we're probably sitting there with a win in some aspects. But, uh, you know, we, we, played a, we played a really good team, um, you know, and, and, and we're, making, we're making progress. You know, week one we did not play well defensively, and we came in last week and we – um, you know, kind of back to the drawing board. Here's what we got to get better at. Here's what we got to get. What we got to work on. We did. We did some good things. You know, having said that, we did give up some big plays. Um, but we, you know, there there were a lot of plays where it was. Uh, it was. It was. You know, hey, it's third and. You know, it's third and fifteen. It's 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 you know it's fourth and seventeen. You know, where we let them convert some things, and they earn they earn the right to convert them. But at the same point, we have to understand in situations. Okay, what's what's going to happen? You know, what what are well, like what's the down and distance? What are they going to run in that distance? And I, I think that's things that we don't we aren't. Not that we don't know, we're just not um, as good as at those situations as we need to be right now. And I think, you know, I, I think with the more experience that we get, uh, I think we'll continue to get better every week, and we'll see, you know, we'll see us better at those scenarios um, throughout the year. Coach, your team uh, welcomes Wheeling Park to uh, Musselman this week. Um, obviously, again, it's another tough team. It doesn't really get any easier. Uh, usually, one of the top teams in the state. They're coming off of a tough loss, but had a good win. Had a good win week one. So, uh, what are some things you've seen from them so far this year, Coach? And uh, what will be some keys to victory for your team? Yeah, I mean, Wheeling Park's a good program. Um, you know, we're, we're familiar with them. Um, have played. Uh, we played them a lot since I've been here. Um, as, as the head coach, you know, we had a regular season series with them. <clears throat> and then, you know, we, we played them in the playoffs a couple of years ago in the first round. So, um, yeah, they're, I mean, they're a good team. Uh, they're, they're really well coached. You know, Coach Doc, um, he's a friend of mine, and he, he does a really good job, um, you know, coaching them and getting them ready. So, they'll, you know, they're, they're a really good team. Um, you know, they'll, they'll bring – Coming off a loss, they'll kind of bring their best effort in here um, against us. So, you know, we we got we got to be ready. Um, you know, we got to be ready in all aspects of the game. You mentioned the previous few times that you guys played them had a nice streak going from 2018 to mm-hmm. 2022. But that 2022 year is the uh, last time you guys did play them, and you mentioned the loss in the regular season and then the comeback and getting the win mm-hmm. against them in the playoffs how much is that I guess maybe fresh in your mind getting ready for this week to maybe help even though it's still been over a year since uh those games I I mean I'll be honest with you um we're we're both really different teams than we've been in the past um you know we're we're not we're not anywhere close to the same team that we play that that played against them two years ago just because we have completely different personnel um, than what we had two different years ago. You know a lot of kids that we have now. I think we got I think we have two kids that that played in that game um, that are seniors that have been three year starters. So you know we're we're a lot different. And then watching them on film, they're a lot different than they've been in the years past. Um, they're kind of doing some different things. Um, they kind of have some different personnel than what they've had in the past. Um, so, you know, I, I think that's what, that's what good coaches do. That's what, you know, the, the, talking about their coach, um, you know, you, you kind of adjust with what you got and what you're doing. So, um, yeah, we're, you know, it, it's fresh in my mind just because I remember um, all those things. But, you know, as far as what we're going to talk about to the kids, we're really not going to mention that at all just because, you know, they're, they're, they're different teams. Coach, it's also the first game for your program at home on turf. Uh, I know we talked in the past, you're not necessarily a huge fan of the turf, but it does bring excitement around the program. It brings excitement uh, for the kids as well. So uh, just what are some things, I guess, you, you've liked about the turf and also um, just uh, how has that brought some excitement to your team? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, I mean, we're really enjoying the turf. You know, like I, I mentioned to you before, it's not that I'm not a fan. I just – you know, I, I, I like the I like the grass. You know, I like the 
natural surface. But at the same time, it makes things a lot easier um, in some aspects, you know, to be able to practice on it. Um, you know, I don't have to come here every weekend um, and, and spend two or three hours of my free time uh, lining the fields and painting the fields. We already got a field with lines on it. So, you know, that part's pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, we. I mean, it, it's good to get on it. It's good to practice. Um, you know, it's good to cut and move on a, on a natural, you know, on a, on a nice surface like that. So, you know, we're, we're excited. I think Friday will, will be – I think there'll be a lot of energy. I think there'll be a lot of excitement on Friday. Um, you know, I, I think the community will be excited too, just to watch a Friday night game on the turf. What will it come down to for you guys to come out with a win on Friday against Wheeling Park? I mean, we we have to execute. You know, we we have to um, you know we have to execute for four quarters. I think you know against against Hanley. Against Hanley, we you know the, the the second half score I think is eight to seven, and the first half you know they really not even the first quarter you know they, the second quarter they completely dominated us, and then throughout the rest of the game we had a lot of positives, and then last week against Loudon Valley, you know we played really good, um, probably other than the third quarter. You know the third quarter what we, we didn't play very well. We played pretty good in the first half, and then even in the fourth quarter. So you know we we just have to you know it, it, it's tough because. You're not going to be perfect, but at the same time, you know, you have to have some a, a little bit of momentum in each quarter for four quarters. So, um, you know, just, just continuing to try to put that complete game together. All right, Coach, final one. The fun question this week is going to be, if you were to win the lottery, uh, what, what would be the first thing you would buy? Oh, man, that's a tough question. Um Man, I mean, first off, I wouldn't make that decision. My wife would. <laughs> um, probably uh, probably like a vacation home, probably like a house at the beach. I think we've asked you before, but what's your go-to beach? Um, I mean, we go, we go to – we go to we, we really – we bounce around. We try a bunch of different ones out and go around a lot of different places. So, you know, we um, we like Myrtle Beach. You know, we've gone there a lot. But, you know, we, we go around a little bit all over the place. Was that going to be what you said? Yeah, that's, that's okay. what I was going to ask, so. All right, Coach yep. Thomas, thank you. Awesome. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys.